away with Simon now post-match after the 1-0 win against Daly Bidge. How do you think the match went? Well, obviously we're delighted uh, to gain another three points and a clean sheet. Um, credit goes to the lads for a gutsy performance. Uh, we had a little bit of luck last last ten minutes, uh, but we dug in against a full-time team. You know, they've had a bit of a rest up today, haven't they? Their players are full-time and they've come in. Our lads have all been at work and rushed to get here. Um, but I thought our start was fantastic. You know, the front four were excellent, really pacey. It was sticking. Um, Ryan was instrumental up there down the middle as he was setting it back to players and the runs we were making off him were super. I thought that was the style that we set out um, and planned for in the summer. Um, but it's nice to be able to pick the same team twice and that's something that I've not been able to do yet. Um, and we made it pay with the, with the one goal. It, you know, I thought it could have been more and we pressed for more. But then the second half was then a battle uh, and a war of attrition for us. And, um, but the defence shone through. And we've got a little bit of luck, obviously, one off the line and, and one off the post. But um, you know, it, it's gone against us for the large part so far this season with luck. And so it's nice for it to balance out a little bit. I mean, you've got to be happy with the, uh, the three clean sheets as well, because only, I mean, obviously, goals that uh, we concede I mean that we don't lose the games. But it's a confidence boost of the team as well, isn't it? Oh, massive. Uh, and I think the keeper has been outstanding. And, and two centre halves, you can see all their experience. Um, they're talking. Um, and it, you know, people get anxious, and uh, I suppose we all do. You know, when we want a win so much at home again, and, um, but we ended up two banks of four. Um, and if you can't get early pressure on the ball, uh, the defence do right to drop that ten yards as a starting position um, because you, you just get done with the ball over the top. Um, but they were they orchestrated it well, and um, they were brave. You know, and little nudges here and there, clever defending. And, narrowing the angles and all the back four was superb um, but the lads in front of it worked hard and I think the next step for us you know for looking at progressing all the time is to try and keep it cooler because we are set up to counter attack in the last 10 minutes and, and we could have done so a little bit more effectively if we would have kept calm and composed on the ball but I, I still think it's that early bit of anxiety because um, things have gone a little bit against us at times so far this season but um, a win's a win and it, it gives us more of a platform then to display a bit of confidence on the deck. Now it's obviously a very attacking team that you've chosen and there's a lot of pressing going on by the team but today it seemed like we coped a bit better when you sort of like the pressing stopped and then we allowed Staley to have a bit of a go and then we pressed again. Mm. It seemed like the team were more you know more able to cope with it this time. Yeah, yeah I think if you if you have a system and you, you stick to it and um, when people are fit um, you're able to stick to it then you can work on that game plan. And you, you know, and you can assess it after each game and reflect on it properly, and say, well, if we can do a bit better here and there. I think the other day we were the strikers were pinned up against their, their defenders, and there were gaps in which passing options that were created by by our positional play defensively. And I think we we organised after that initial onslaught, um, we organised better uh, behind the ball and and denied them passing routes, and and, and then we could springboard other attacks because we were again in good areas and. Um, but credit goes to the lads, you know, they, they managed the game as it was going on very well and um, gave us the three points, so we're all delighted in that. I want to mention the pitch because obviously we know that you've narrowed it and uh, at the beginning of the season there was a bit of criticism about people not being able to find the space, but today it seems to be that we were finding the space and the balls were being knocked nicely for the, the strikers to run onto. Oh, that's, that's nice. It's a bit of praise from, from yourself, maybe, you know, the criticism about the pitch might stop. Uh, listen, it's provided a talking point. And people want to talk about it, and that's great. Now, I've got to mention James Walshot again, because he proved again what a predator he was. The header, perfect timing for the jump, and the power. He seemed to get a lot of power from sort of like a standing jump. Yeah, he's come across the line very well and attacked the ball and used his upper body strength, and that I didn't realise he had. And um, <laughs> No, he, he's a predator in the box, and he just got into that pocket space nice in the box and, and banged his header away and it, it was going away from him so he used his neck muscles as well and, and produced a fine finish and I'm really pleased with that. It's going to be a totally different match against obviously Solihull on Saturday because they're a big physical team you know are we going to set up the same are we going to have to change our game plan as a case of no they're coming to us they can change their plan for us? Well I think they'll probably come to watch us tonight and we've put two tickets on they've put two tickets <laughs> on so um, we'll not give anything away um, about how we're going to set up on Saturday but you know we've got a good team sheet that we can now put in and um, and it's got stronger and stronger than, you know with, with the minutes they've played these these players they're going to get better and um, so I don't see any reason you know on 
Bowman had a good run of, of changing it too drastically because, because confidence is building nicely. Now I want to just finish on the midfield pairing of um, Kerry and Lennigan. Again, I mean, it, it seemed that Simon Lennigan was instrumental in breaking up the attacks and Kerry again was you know, there to pick up the ball and play the ball forward. It seems to be that those two are starting to gel quite nicely now. Uh, well, again, I think they're two uh, lads who deserve praise, like you say. Um, they've covered every... You know, every blade of grass tonight, and uh, they've broken play up and they distributed it well. And um, we touched on it. I thought the last time it was the first half, we got a little bit sloppy at times on the ball, but um, you know, the energy they put into the heart and soul of the team. So, really pr pleased with the, their progress, too. Well, on Saturday, then, and Solly on Mars. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, but it'll be a tough one, but we've got to get at it again. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very Cheers. much, Simon. Cheers.